uh, one of your friend is saying that my voice is breaking is it voice is not clear just a minute now is it clear is it clear now okay <clears throat> okay so in one answer we got a 200 in another answer we got a minus 56 why like this we are trying to understand if the result is more than if the result is more than uh, what you called 8 uh, bits uh, you need to neglect the remaining bits like this some discussion happen after that uh, we started with the working on integer data type i told you integer basically divided into three things one is short integer and another one is long integer and another one is long long integer long long integer so short integer size is 2 bytes long integer size is in a 32 bit os long integer size is 4 bytes in a 64 bit os the long integer size is 8 bytes whereas a long long integer size is it is a uh, 8 bytes apart from this short long int long long int you can declare normally int also apart from declaring short long or long long you can declare you can declare one int also so this is a 4 bytes no matter you are working in a 32 bit or you are working on the 64 bit so today also we need to discuss such type of things only some memory related issues we need to discuss it huh? today also some memory related issues we need to discuss it now tell me if we go for short int suppose if i declare short int i can anybody tell me is it a signed or unsigned if i declare short int i is it a signed or unsigned default it is a signed will you agree default it is a signed because i declared short int can you imagine how much of memory the compiler will allocate for this i can you imagine how much of memory the compile how many bytes it will allocate definitely Uh, 16 bits 2 bytes can i say it is a 16 bits hmm? it is a 16 bits in this 16 bits uh, because it is a signed can i say one bit is a signed bit uh, remaining 15 bits are the data bits one bit is a signed bit uh, remaining 15 bits are the data bits <laughs> now tell me sign bit is 1 can i say that is a negative short integer sign bit is 1 can i say that is a negative short integer sign bit is 0 can i say that is a positive short integer okay now if i declare unsigned suppose if i declare unsigned short int can i say all 16 bits are all 16 bits are data bits there is a no can i say unsigned means we cannot store negative values unsigned means can i say we can't store negative values huh? now tell me if all the 16 bits are data bits what is the minimum and what is the maximum 0000000000000 000 minimum this is right minimum is 0 maximum is 1111111111111111 now can you tell me what is it max this number minimum is 0 maximum is this number is it a 255 yeah my are we dealing with a one byte k5 p8 are we dealing with a one byte no maximum is Six five five three five. 
वन प्लस टू प्लस फोर प्लस एट प्लस सिक्सटीन प्लस थर्टी टू प्लस सिक्सटी फोर प्लस वन ट्वेंटी एट टू फिफ्टी सिक्स फाइव टू ट्वेल्व वन जीरो टू फोर टू जीरो फोर एट फोर जीरो लाइक दिस वेन यू एड ऑल दिस थिंग्स यू विल गेट सिक्स फाइव फाइव थ्री फाइव आर कैन आई से टू पावर सिक्सटीन माइनस वन आर कैन आई से टू पावर सिक्सटीन माइनस वन सो कैन आई कैन आई से द पॉइंट can i say the point unsigned short int range is unsigned short int range is 0 to 65535 this is 2 0 to 65535 a9 got the point unsigned short int there is no negative numbers unsigned short int 0265535 a9 any doubt in this y minus 1 y minus 1 is a question if you go for 2 power 16 it is a 65536 will you agree 2 power 16 is a 65536 a9 2 power 16 is 65536 but 0 to 65535 means can i say minus 1 now tell me total how many values i can store total count can you tell me total count can anybody tell me Two bytes total count. Can I say six five five three six values? But my question is, can we store six five five three six into short integer? Can we store six five five three six into short integer? No. Maximum is six five five three five because zero from zero. I hope apart from A nine, others also got clarity on it. Huh? Others also got. Now, what about the signed short int? What about the signed short int? What about the signed short int? Half of the negative numbers, half of the positive numbers. Minus three two seven six eight two. Plus three two seven six seven minus three two seven six eight two plus three two seven six seven. Can I say this is the negative range? This is the positive range. One very simple question I need to ask you. Very funny question. A very silly question. Minus one plus one is there. Will you agree? Minus one plus one is there. Is it minus zero plus zero is there? Is it minus zero plus zero is there? Answer is no. Zero should I consider the negative value or positive value? Zero should I consider as a negative value or positive value? Answer is positive. Why? Because sine bit is zero. Can I say why? Because sine bit is zero. So we need to consider. Zero as a zero, you need to consider in the positive range. Now, can you tell me again? Minus three two seven six eight two plus three two seven six seven total. Again, total. Minus three two seven six eight two plus three two seven six seven. Again, total. Ah, huh. six five five three six. Here also. Unsigned short int also six five five three six values. Signed short int also six five five three six values. Only the difference is in unsigned short int all positive values. In signed short int half negative values and half positive values. Now can anybody tell me if we are trying to store If we are trying to store more than six five five three two seven six eight, suppose if I am trying to store 
3 to 7, 6, 8. Now can I say it becomes minus 3 to 7, 6, 8 in this case? Again, it is rolled. Like in the last lecture, plus 128, minus 128, binary is same. <laughs> <clears throat> any doubt in this? Any doubt in this range? Once again, I'm trying to tell you. So, in the last one two lecture, we started discussing one byte of data. Now, little bit bigger data, two bytes, next four bytes, next eight bytes, the data capacity increases. Will you agree? capacity increases okay now the thing is what I'll do very simple question I need to scan a short integer I need to print it I'll write I'll write it s int dot c short int dot c hash include stdio dot h what is the aim of the program aim is just scan short int and print it on screen nothing just scan a short integer and print it on the screen one of your friend question is v20 be 7 s2 question is why one of your friend question is why 65536 means 0 move to 0 why 65536 move to 0 try to understand uh, s2 when you convert this into binary 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 like this will be there again when you convert this into binary 65536 binary form like this so but short integer means only two bytes now can I say we need to neglect this now you tell me what is that Yes, S5 is correct. Out of range. S5 is correct. Out of range. Now you tell me. Now tell me. Got Y0? S2? Hmm? Okay. Now observe. Very simple task. Aim is just to scan a short int and print it on the screen. Not the big deal here. Scan a short int and print it on the screen. Now observe void main short int i print f enter the number scan f percentile d ampersand of i print f i is equals to percentile d slash n comma i so we are not performing any task in this program just we are trying to scan a short integer and we are printing on the screen just we are scanning that short integer and we are printing on the screen now let's compile the program Let's compile the program. When I compile it, I got a warning. Try to understand what is the warning saying. Warning, can you guess at which line? Can you imagine a warning at which line? Line number 8. Let's see the what is the warning. Warning says that format for percentile D Format percentile D expects the argument as integer type int star 
integer pointer int star means integer pointer but argument 2 has short int all of you are observing this symbol means here we are doing something wrong in the scanner again the format percentile d in line number 8 will you agree this is the line number 8 scanner in our program line number 8 is a scanner so format percentile d expects the argument type integer address but this is a short integer address and also suggestions are also given here are you observing here suggestions are also given but because it is a warning because it is a warning is the executable file is going to be created or not because it is a warning executable file is going to be created or not answer is yes it is created now observe enter the number 12 i got 12 and i got some stack smash detected this is also one one uh, what you called runtime error stack smashing but output have you got the output or not 12 now one question one point i need to tell you every time do we need to neglect the warnings yes or no every time do we need to neglect the warnings yes or no answer is no you should not neglect the warnings. Now, if you see the warning, warning is in a line number 8, but not in a line number 10. Warning is line number 8, but not in a line number 10. Now, if you read that warning very carefully, in a scanf, this is the wrong format specifier you are using. This is the wrong format specifier you are using. One more thing I need to tell you. Whenever you got a warning, there is a chance of getting a runtime errors. Again, whenever you got a warning, if you neglect that warning reading, there is a chance of getting runtime errors. Getting the point? I don't know, you remembered or not, whenever you are using the scanf, two points you need to take very carefully. Whenever you are using the scanf, two points you need to take care. Point number one, what is the point number one? Can anybody tell me? Point number one, proper format specifier i don't know you remember this point or not i might have stressed this point proper format specifier and proper address i provided the proper address but i am not provided the proper but i am not provided the proper huh, proper format specifier will you agree Especially when you're scanning the data, you should be very careful. Now, observe this. When I compile this code, by this you need to tell me what is the format specifier for short integer. By seeing this, you tell me, suggest, by this suggestion, you tell me what is the format specifier for short integer percentile hd one more thing i need to show you this after the class i will share this uh, diagram to you after the class i will share this diagram to you all of you are observing this this table all of you are observing this table percentile s for string all of you are observing this table now observe in this, they mentioned the proper format specifiers also. Percentile C, 
percentile C, percentile U, percentile C, percentile D, percentile D, percentile U, percentile U, percentile as HD, HU, LD, LU, LLD, LLU. These are the format specifiers. I hope already this is there in your material. Anyway, I'll share this diagram after the class in a Moodle. Now you tell me, what is the proper format specifier for short integer? What is the proper format specifier for short integer? And one more thing I'll tell you, some of the students who are beginners in a C language, what they will do normally is in a scan of unnecessary data they will provide i is equals to slash n like this in a scan if they will use in a scan if they will use i is equals to percentile d slash n like this but what i means to say you that in a scan if Apart from this format specifier, don't provide anything. Apart from that format specifier, don't provide anything. <sighs> Observe. In this integer size, if it is a two bytes, I hope if somebody might have worked in a turbo C, they may know that. If it is a two bytes, so minus three to seven six eight two plus three to seven six seven. If it is a four byte, minus two one four seven four eight three six four eight two plus two one four three seven like this. Got the point? A nine. Both for two for four both they mentioned it. A nine point is clear. Okay. B four is asking one question. What happens if we provide? Your friend question is, in a scan of, if I write something junk data, what happens? Answer is, proper scanning is not going to happen. Before, got the clear? Proper scanning. Scanning means, can anybody tell me what is the meaning of scanning? Can anybody tell me what happens background? When I say this is one predefined function, this is one predefined function. It will take the data from the keyboard. Whatever the data we supplied, it will try to put it into this location in this format. This location in this format. Hmm? So if you don't use proper uh, format specifier or proper scanf, Unexpected behaviors will be there. We can't expect what is the behavior. One of your friend question is, Sir, why can't we initialize at line number 9? Now tell me, if you initialize at line number 9, if you initialize at line number 9, if you initialize at line number 9, then no need to scan it. But better programming, better program is you need to interact with a user for input. Instead of fixing everything, you need to interact with a user for input. K3, got the point. Instead of fixing the input, instead of fixing the input, because in the next, within few days, we are going to start writing the programs. So whenever you are writing the program, you should not fix the input. Better approach is, you need to take the input. Better approach is, you need to take the input. You need to take the input from, you need to take the input from, from the user keyboard that is the reason i am scanning here 
now the question is sir if i given the wrong format specifier now just now i told you what is the format specifier for scan uh, for short integer hd but i used but i used but i used in the line number 8 d and one more thing you may get a doubt sir in a printf also i used percentile d but i didn't get any warning person in a printf also i used in a printf also i used but i didn't get any warning in a printf i got only warning in a scanner now i need to tell you if you want you can print any format now if you able to recollect in the last lecture character we are trying to print it in character we are trying to print it in tell me character we are trying to print it in percentile c percentile d percentile o percentile x is the compiler generated any warning in that case is the compiler is saying that you are dealing with a character but you are printing in a decimal format octal format no that's what the property of the printf any data you can print any form especially when you are dealing with integer character this type of data so now the compiler is not generating any error any warning in the line number 10 but compiler is generating the warning in the line number 8 so the conclusion is whenever we are scanning the data <coughs> we need to supply proper format specifier and proper address got the point what is the proper format specifier for short integer is percentile hd percentile hd let's compile the code let's so now observe when i compile yeah my got any yeah my got any error or any warning no why because i used proper format specifier in that case so will you agree i didn't get run time error also we didn't get run time error also okay now observe i'm commenting this short int i comma j how many variables i declared short int i comma j how many variables i declared yes two variables what is the size of i and what is the size of j what is the size of i what is the size of j can i say two two bytes compiler will allocate two two bytes each okay now i'm trying to print print f the address of i is equals to percentile p slash n comma ampersand of i y y p the address of j now i need to introduce one more format specifier here percentile p format specifier note it on percentile p format specifier is used to print the address of a variable i'll write the points here uh point number 1 while scanning the data we need to provide proper format specifier and proper address 
while we are scanning the data we need to provide proper format specifier and proper address next next point is point number 2 percentile p is a format specifier to print to print the address of to print the address of a variable one of your friend is asking what is the use of address just i am printing it every memory location should have some address right s5 every memory location should have some address yes sir s5 will agree with my statement every memory location should have some address suppose if you want to print the address suppose if you want to print the address <coughs> you need to use percentile p for format specifier and you need to use all of you are observing this address yeah, am i printing the value of i or address of i here yeah, am i printing the value of i or address of i will you agree i am printing the will you agree i am printing the address of i Now leave it about why I am printing the address of I. For the time being, don't worry. I'll discuss why I am printing the address of I. But I am printing uh, two variables at the starting address. <sighs> Agree? Now let's print the addresses. Let's see. I am compiling the code. I am running the code. now tell me address of i and address of j it is printed in a hexadecimal will you agree it is printed in a hexadecimal all of you agree huh? now for the timing only consider last three digits for the time being let's consider only last three digits if i represent here just a minute if i represent here so this is 184 address this is 185 address this is 186 address this is 187 address now will you agree will you agree these two bytes are allocated to can you tell me these two bytes are allocated to j these two bytes are allocated to i huh? these two bytes are allocated to j and these two bytes are allocated to i now my question is is these two variables are in adjacent or not now my question is these two variables are adjacent adjacent side by side these two variables are adjacent or not answer is yes hmm? now observe if i am dealing a wrong format specifier what is an issue observe if i am dealing a wrong format specifier what is the problem i am going to discuss it in a scan if print if enter the j first i am scanning the j scan if percentile d amp son of j print f j is equals to percentile d slash n comma j after that print f 
enter the i enter the i scan f percentile d ampersand of i print f i is equals to percentile d j is equals to percentile d now if you see the difference ah you will get a different different addresses again a8 you may get a different address every time you will not get a same address if i execute my program again i may get a different address but one thing you need to observe there is both addresses are in a contiguous both variables are in a contiguous or not a8 one thing you need to observe yes sir. we actually the format specifier is percentile hd but i am using the percent percentile d so then what is the problem i am going to show you if i use wrong format specifier what is an issue what is the problem i am going to show you with this example k8 got the point k8 got the point if you use a wrong format specifier especially in a scanf what is the problem with this small example i am going to show you now here i am scanning the j after scanning the j i am printing the j after printing the j i am scanning the i and at line number 20 i am scanning i as well as the j both now can you tell me in this program which variable i am scanning first in this program which variable i am scanning first j in line number in which line i am scanning the j in which line line number 16 yes after scanning the j in line number 16 what i am doing in a line number 17 what i am doing in the line number 17 what i am doing in the line number 17 i am printing the j correct after line number 17 in a line number 19 what i am doing in a line number 19 what i am doing i am scanning the i but yama used proper format specifier in a 16 and 19 yama used proper format specifier in 16 and 19 no now let's see now let's compile the code observe warning is at 16th line at 19th line warning is at 16th line at 19th line huh? let it wait is a warning right executable file is going to be created s9 wait i'll give you the answer executable file is created enter the j so just a minute what i will do is just i will change the this inside actually it is not inside it should be outside 186 and 187 these are the two different addresses will you agree 186 187 for j 184 185 for i okay now observe enter the j let's give 10 will you agree j value is 10 now huh huh j value is 10 able to understand able to listen my voice okay now you tell me after that enter i let's give i as a 15 now observe when i give i as a 15 all of you are observing that j is becoming zero s9 
J is becoming a zero. How? Because already J is ten there. Because already J is ten there. Why the J is becoming a zero? When I am scanning the eye, why the J is becoming a zero? Answer is wrong format specifier you used in a scan. That is an issue. Observe what happens here. Now, will you agree? Observe this uh, very carefully. Output uh, once again. In our program, first time asking the J, I given the J. J is ten. Up to this, there is no doubt about. Now, can I say J value is ten now? Will you agree? J value is ten now. After that, I am asking enter I. When I give the I, when I give the supply, when I supply I, J is disturbed. When I supply the I, J is disturbed. Then why? What happening here? What is the reason? Try to understand because I used wrong format specifier. Now what is the significance of format specifier? I'll tell you here. Now you tell me. In line number sixteen, which number I am scanning? Which variable I am scanning? Line number sixteen, J. What format specifier I used? D. What format specifier I used? D. Now observe what happens is what the scanner will do. depends upon this format specifier whatever the data we supplied it will decide how many bytes it need to put again listen the statement very carefully because i used percentile d whatever the input i am going to supply this input is not stored into 2 bytes it is stored into 4 bytes getting the point because i used wrong format specifier whatever the input i am supplying the through keyboard from this starting address it is stored into 4 bytes because percentile d property is that now 4 bytes means if, uh, what is the first number 10 uh, so 0000 1010 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000000000000000000 now will you agree if somebody variable is there adjacent to this that is disturbed here somebody variable is there adjacent to this will you agree it is going to be disturbed understanding the memory related issues after that when i print the j yes i got a 10 no problem Now observe when I'm scanning the I with wrong format specifier. Now when I supply fifteen, fifteen is stored from here in a two bytes or in a four bytes. Fifteen is stored in a two bytes or in a four bytes. Four bytes. Why? Because I used percentile D. Now, when the fifteen is stored in a four bytes, zero 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 one 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 zero 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 zero. Can I say already whatever the data here? It is overwritten zero 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 zero. Now, can I say this ten is deleted here? Now, tell me after that when I print the J. Yama, I got a ten, or Yama, I got a zero. Ha! Huh, you should be very careful while scanning the data. If you use wrong format specifier, because of one variable, another variable is unnecessarily going to be lost. We are going to lose another variable. Now tell me, in this, because of Which variable scanning, which variable data is disturbed? Again, in this program, because of which variable, because of which variable saw, so, which variable scanning, 
which variable is disturbed can i say when we are scanning the eye j is disturbed when we are scanning the eye j is disturbed now my question is when you are scanning the eye why j is disturbed when we are scanning the eye why j is disturbed because i used a wrong format specifier so what the scanner will do whatever the data i collected from the keyboard it will not put into two bytes it will put it into four bytes that is the reason because j is adjacent to the i will you agree j is adjacent to the i because of i scanning j is disturbed so the conclusion is you should not neglect the warnings is it getting the point you should not neglect every warning you need to understand it if that warning will not affect your program then no problem there may be a chance of run time errors also will you agree now what is the solution one student told one solution sir instead of short int use int again one student told one solution sir instead of short int declare int but i want short int only but i want short int only can you tell me the solution in that case uh, proper format specifier yes if you want to deal with short int only if your data is not more than 2 bytes so if your data is not more than 2 bytes now tell me now let's see is because of one variable scanning is another variable is going to disturb or not j is 10 i is 15 now any run time error any data corruption happened here So at this level, at this stage, because at the beginning we are beginning, we are beginners to the C. Little bit uncertainty may comes in your mind. Little bit like what you called problems may arises. But I am trying to help you. I am trying to explain you as much as simpler way so that fresher can understand. getting the point huh? doubt in this anything if you scan i first and j second maybe may not be that's what one thing i need to tell you j2 or to anybody else when you are scanning try to put in your mind you need to use proper format specifier otherwise unnecessary because of this variable scanning other variable may be get disturbed a5 that's what one of your friend is saying that in one in one line use percentile hd in another line percentile d again adjacent this c if you see this logically just a minute if you see this in this j also somebody who is here that is also disturbed suppose here k is there can i say because of the j k is going to be disturbed but printing will not affect that's what i am i am telling you printing will not affect only scan if will affect if this is clear if this is clear we'll jump to the next discussion short int two bytes if this is clear type c your friend question is why print will not affect now tell me what the printf will do 
observe what is the behavior of the printf first it will check this size according to that it will print it able to understand what the printf will do first check that and it according to that it will print it that is the reason there is no effect at all you can print in a percentile o percentile x percentile d anything any format actually in a printf also proper proper code is proper code is in a printf also try to use proper format specifier proper writing the code is in a printf also use proper format specifier there is no issue at all there is no issue at all if you use percentile hd it will print what is there inside it then 15 see so just simple in a single statement if i say the conclusion try to use proper format specifier in printf as well as a scanf better especially in a scanf is it clear try to use proper format specifier while printing and while scanning printing will not affect that much but while scanning the data may be corrupted is this point is clear <laughs> okay now let's move to the integer data type sort integer is a two bytes integer i hope now the background disturbance is not there right <laughs> now observe if i write int i is equals to 10 now what is the 10 it's a integer in a integer which category decimal or hexadecimal or octal what is the 10 it is an integer in a integer is it a decimal or hexadecimal or octal will agree it is a decimal now observe percentile d percentile x percentile o i am trying to print the same i in a three different forms i am trying to print the same i in a three different forms one is decimal form one is a hexadecimal form one is a octal form now can anybody tell me what is a binary form of 10 normal 1010 if you go for 1 byte 00 uh, 0000 if you go for 4 bytes 0000 0000 0000 like this 4 bytes able to understand now i'm trying to print the integer i in a d format in x format in a o format now can you tell me d format will give us d format will give us 10 o format will give us percentile x format will give us x a a o format will give us 1 all agree o format will give us 1 2 one of your friend is asking can we print the binary can we print 
the binary. I think there is one format specifier is there to print the binary. If you want, you can search in the Google. What is the format specifier to print the binary? Is it clear? One student video is on. Please switch off it. Please switch off. What is that ID? ID of the student. Okay, thank you. Now let's compile the code. Let's compile the code. <clears throat> let's run the code. What is this? Why this program is running? Okay, integer. Observe ten A one two. One of your friend is saying that percentile B. One of your friend is saying that percentile B format specifier. Let's see. It is showing some warning. It is printer percentile B only. It's not a percentile B. Please try to check it out. Okay. One of your friend question is, sir, can we declare I and J in a different memory locations in a previous program? Answer is no. Your friend question is, in a previous program, I and J came adjacent. But is there any possibility those two are not adjacent? One thing I need to tell you for everyone. In a C language, <laughs> we can ask the compiler how much of memory we required. Depends upon the data type it will declare, decide. But we cannot ask the compiler, I need this particular memory location only. S2, not only for S2, I am telling this for everyone. For everyone. We can ask the compiler that how much of memory I need. But we can't ask the compiler that where I need, I need this particular address. We'll agree in between our program and hardware operating system is there. When my program is executing, we'll agree without OS, it will not execute. Hmm? So when operating system is present in between, we don't have the choice we don't have the choice to select the address. Got the point? We don't have the choice to select the... Huh. P5, I'm coming to your question only. How we got to well, well, I'll tell you. Now tell me, what is the binary form of decimal 10? Will you agree this is a decimal 10? Let's consider one byte binary 00001010. Any doubt in this binary form? P5? Decimal 10. No. Observe. I am using percentile D. Decimal. It will get 10. I hope there is no doubt about it. I am using percentile X. This is the A. I hope there is no doubt on this. Hexadecimal. Hexadecimal notation. I am using this O. O means octal. 3, 3 bits. 2. 1. That's why 1, 2. Octal. Hmm? Now observe. 
here instead of 10 can i write int i is equals to 0 plus a instead of decimal 10 in line number 4 instead of decimal 10 can i write 0 cross a yes now in this also the output is same hmm? Hmm? in this instead of this can i write 0, 1, 2. Now you can initialize, you can scan up to you. K3, you can initialize, you can scan up to you. And R3 is asking one question. Sir, as in a character data type, how we can store integers like 1, 2, 3? In integers, can we store character? One of your friend question is, in a characters, we are storing an integers, one byte integer. In an integer, can I store character? Is one of your friend question. Just a minute, we'll see that. First, let's observe the line number 6. First, let's observe the line number 6. Now tell me, this is a character constant or integer constant? Compiler will treat that as a character constant or integer constant? Integer constant. In an integer, will you treat this as a decimal or hexadecimal or octal? Zero, octal, that's what. Now can I say here I'll get a 10, here get A, here I'll get 1, 2. Hmm? 10, A, 1, 2. Now observe. As your friend is suggested, now int i is equals to single code a. How is it? Is it the student who asked int i is equals to single code a? You are the point. Now, any doubt in this uh, line number 4, line number 5, line number 6? Any doubt in the line number 4, line number 5, and line number 6? Now, the question is, now the question is, observe very carefully, when I declare int i, when I declare int i, this is assigned or unsigned? Signed or unsigned? Signed. Suppose if I declare unsigned. Suppose if I declare unsigned int i. Can I say for this 32 bits are given? 32 bits are allocated. 4 bytes, 32 bits. 32 bits means all the 32 bits are data bits. All 32 bits are data bits because of unsigned. Now, can I say the range 0 to 2 power 32 minus 1? Can I say the range 0 to 2 power 32 minus 1? Hmm? Or I can say 2 power 32 as 2 power 10 into 2 power 10 into 2 power 10 into 2 power 2. Can I write 2 power 32 as 
2 power 10 into 2 power 10 into 2 power 10 into 2 power 2. Now can anybody tell me 2 power 10 means 1k, 1 kilo. 2 power 10 into 2 power 10 is 1 m mega. And 2 power 10 into 2 power 10 into 2 power 10 is 1 g giga. Huh? Into 4, into 4, so simply we can say 4G. Into 4, we can say 4G. So can I say 0 to 4G minus 1? Again, 2 power 10 is 1 kilo. 2 power 10 into 2 power 10 is 1 mega. 2 power 10 into 2 power 10 into 2 power 10 is 1 giga into 4, that is a 4 giga. Simple. Otherwise, 2 power 32 minus 1. Now, if uh, I can say now here, I can say here, just a minute. Just a minute. 0 to 4G. Well, what about int i? 1 plus 31. Now can you tell me what is that meaning of 1 plus 31? What is the meaning of 1 plus 31? Total 32. Sign bit and data bits. Sign bit and data bits. If this is a 0 to 4G, here I can say minus 2g to plus 2g. Half of the negative and half of the positive. Again, in unsigned is 0 to 4g. It is minus 2g to plus 2g. Roughly we can say. Otherwise, if you want a specific number, that number, I hope in this it is there. Long int or whatever it is, you can see here. <laughs> Just a minute. Minus 21474836482, or 0249496729. Instead of remembering this big number, I can say 0 to 4G or minus 2G to plus 2G. Is that point is clear? All of you are getting this point? So here uh, we are not talking about 32-bit processor. Where is there any mention here? 32-bit processor something. Now, V3 is asking, sir, please repeat it again. What should I repeat it? Is it this one, minus 2G to plus 2G or 0 to 4G? V3, which should I? V3, please let me know which should I? just about uh, remembering their bit sizes. See, unsigned int i, integer means 4 bytes, 32 bits. Because it is unsigned, will you agree, all the bits are data bits. Because it is unsigned, will you agree, all the bits are data bits. So, range is 0 to 4G. If you don't write unsigned, default is signed in that 32 bits, one bit is a signed bit, remaining 31 bits are the data bits. In that case, half of the negative number, so minus 2g to plus 2g. Shortcut remembering. Is this is clear? V3. 
I am asking about a range. That's what I am saying. Of zero to four G or two G to minus two G to plus two G. You are talking about. You are talking about uh, how this four G came. Two power thirty two means two power ten into two power ten into two power ten into two power two. Will you agree? Two two power thirty two. You can write like this. Two hmm? power ten means one kilo. Two power ten into what? Two power ten is one mega. Two power ten into two power ten into two power ten is one giga into four. One giga into four is a four giga. <sighs> is that is clear? In case of double, see, we are not yet started discussing the float and double. That is entirely the different. And also, we are not going to discuss right now. Once we started with the operators, we are going to discuss. These are the real numbers. We are not here. We are not at touching the real numbers now. We are not yet started the discussion of real numbers now. Just we are integer family. Character, short integer, long integer, like this integer family only we are discussing. Okay, okay. <clears throat> now the thing is now very important discussion that is, I hope you might have observed this very important discussion now. That is, just a minute. Any DNS? All of you are observing this term. NADNs, little NADN, or big NADN, or whatever it may be. What is the meaning of NADNs? Who is responsible for this? Why this NADNs came to picture? All the things I need to discuss it now. NADNs is a concept related to storage. Again, if you want, you can note it down. NADNs is related to storage. Int i is equals to ten. Int i is equals to ten. Print of percentile p slash and comma ampersand of i. Now can you tell me in this program what I am trying to do it? I am trying to print the as this address operator. This is called as address operator. This will give us the starting address. This is it will give us the starting address. Okay, just a minute. I compiled the code. Now tell me what is the starting address? Last two digits is enough. Last three digits are also enough. Just for Understanding purpose. Can I say five one four? Starting address is five one four. I'll try to represent the address here. How many bytes are allocated? How many bytes are allocated? Four bytes integer. Four bytes are allocated. Starting address is five one four. This is five one five. This is five one six. This is five one seven. Okay, the same four bytes. I'll write it once again. The same four bytes. I'll draw here also. Five one four. Five one five. Five one six, five one seven. S five integer size is not two bytes. Integer size is four bytes. Are you present in the yesterday's lecture? I printed the size of the int. It is a four bytes. S five got the point. Okay. Now observe. In this four bytes. What is the value I am storing in this four bytes? What is the value I am storing? Ten. 
Now, what is a uh, binary form of ten? Can you tell me what is a binary form of binary format of ten? Normally, binary format of ten means. Mm, I'll write it here. Just a minute. The binary format of ten is one zero one zero 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 zero. I'm trying to represent four byte binary. Zero 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 zero. Zero 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 zero. Do you agree? This is a four byte binary format of ten. One two three four bytes. Now the question is: This four bytes of data, how it is going to store in this? This first byte. Is stored where one five one four or five one five or five one six or five one seven? This first byte is stored into five one four or five one five or five one six or five one seven. Five one four. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? Why not five one seven? This is the LSB. This is the MSB. It depends upon what. One of your friend is saying that lower to address. One of your friend is saying that first available address. Another is saying that right to left. But my question is, depends upon what concept the data is going to be stored in a given memory. Answer is any DNS. any dns is a mechanism or the method how the data is going to be stored in a given memory location again i'll re repeat it you can note it down any dns is a method or the mechanism <coughs> how the data how the data is going to be stored in a given how the data is going to be stored in a given memory location there are two types of nedns are there i hope you know that little nedn and big nedn nedns is depend is related to the processor hardware how the hardware is going to store the data again ndns is related to the hardware it is not related to compiler it is not related to os it is related to hardware is it clear what i am saying in line number 10 i used percentile p to print the address you can use percentile d also but warning it me proper format specifier is percentile p Again, I'll write it. <coughs> Ned DNS is. I'll write it here. Ned DNS is the method. How the data is stored. in given memory this is dependent on hardware any dns is the method how the data is stored in a given location This NDNS is depends on the hardware. V three is asking one big question. Let's see, uh, sir. Also, you told we can know about the size of the particular data type, but we can't decide in which address. <coughs> see, what is the size? You must and should know. 
and also you must and should know how the data is going to be stored also right v3 try to understand how much of size is we know but actually who is going to store the data into the memory can you tell me ultimately who will do the fetching decoding executing try to think electronics point of view embedded point of view try to think who will do the fetching decoding and executing k5 compiler wrong processor os is also wrong ultimately fetching decoding executing fetching decoding executing ultimately the data is stored in a memory hardware processor or controller has to process the data will you agree <laughs> i don't know the student id i forgot it went up in a chat box will you agree hardware need to store the data now for me 514 515 516 517 for me five bytes are given i asked two persons person one try to store this data now what he will do this byte it will put it here 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 son two this byte it will put it here this second byte it will put it here third byte fourth byte intel processor sir follows the little nadns and motorola processor will follow the big nadns getting the point nadns is the mechanism how the given data is stored in a given memory i don't know i am not getting any reply from the student are you getting the point are you getting the point okay this is depends upon the hardware in a little nadn what happens is little nadn lsb is stored in given lower address in a big nadn what happens is lsb is stored in given higher address for better understanding purpose first i'll clear this screen too much of clumsy what i will do is i'll take the paint application please give me one some time already there i think one diagram is there just a minute suppose here i consider the starting address what suppose here i consider the starting address is what suppose here i consider starting address is what 1000 but in our output what is the starting address we got now i got f74 every time i will get a different address don't expect every time same address every time you will get a different address because every time my program is loaded into the ram in a different different locations getting the point <laughs> if suppose f74 f75 f76 f77 four bytes continuous this is a starting address now in this diagram i taken a starting address is 1000 any doubt oh, okay my number is 10 suppose what is the binary format of 10 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000000000000101010 so i'll give some numbering to this bytes 
I hope you may know that this is the least significant byte. This is the most significant byte. Huh? In a little Indian environment, what happens is this LSB is stored in a given lower address. In this given addresses, we will agree this is the lower. In a little Indian environment, LSB is stored in a given lower address. Now what happens is, in a little Indian environment, this is how the data is stored. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. In a big Indian environment, this byte is stored here, this byte is stored here, this byte is stored here, this byte is stored here. Got the point? Okay. NEDNS is the way in a memory the data is going to be stored. There are two types of NEDNS. One is a little NEDN, big NEDN. In a little NEDN, LSB is stored in a given lower address. In a big NEDN, LSB is stored in a given higher address. Now tell me, most of we are working on Intel environment. Intel processors will follow the little NADNS and Motorola processors will follow the big NADNS. Got the point? Try to search in the Google also NADNS concept. AMD processors, please try to search AMD. AMD processors and ARM processors, which NADNS it will you can find out. Got the point? So conclusion is NADNS. So here it is not the best and uh, best scenario. The way you store the data, only that. There is no best way. There is no uh, one is best, another one is not best. That is not the concept here. The concept is storage. There also it is 10, here also it is 10. In big NADN environment also the value is 10. In a small and little NADN environment also value is 10. But the storage is ARM follows the little NADN. I think ARM processor you can change it little NADN to big NADN, big NADN to little NADN. Configuration registers will be there. I think you can change it. Okay, whatever it is. I hope you got a small point here. Anyway, in the next lecture we'll discuss many more things. Today, what are the programs I need to share? May I know? Uh, today, what are the programs I need to share? One is int.c I need to share. Another one is sint.c I need to share. And what is that? Only these two, right? Int.c S C. And could you please repeat the definition of NADNS? NADNS is the method I written already here. NADNS is the method how the data is stored in a given memory. V3, got the point, third point. This file, I am going to share it in a Moodle. Apart from this file, these two programs also I am going to share it. I hope everyone is having the access. Everyone is having the access of model, right? All of you are accessing it. All of you are getting the data from the model. <laughs> okay. So Monday onwards, what's your schedules? Monday onwards, what is your schedule? 10 to 11.30. Apti. I hope all of you know Apti meeting ID password. 2 to 3.30, doubt clarification class, 4 to 5.30, my class. Can I say, for this, for this meeting ID, separate meeting ID password? Hmm? <laughs> okay. After this lecture, I need to share these, these three files. Yes, aptitude also. Attendance we are going to maintain. 
Okay, after the class, I'm going to share these three programs. Thank you very much for attending it. Have a nice weekend. Lab sessions in the 2 to 3.30 only, once we started with the operator's control statements, we'll discuss it. Placement class, I'll inform to the Shahida. Next week, we'll schedule it, <coughs> one half an hour. <coughs> Any doubts are there? The second, better you attend it because new points which I'm not going to discuss, the other faculties will discuss it. S5, got the point. Some of the points, Pawan sir, I sir will discuss it, which uh, I may not discuss here. Thank you very much. <laughs>